Hey there, good morning, and welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. Today we're going to be replacing the brake pads on my 2012 Jeep Wrangler JK. The rear brakes on it started squeaking the other day. Checked it, and yeah, the pads are worn down next to nothing. So I've got some good Power Stop Extreme pads here. I went with a higher quality pad because I don't want to skimp on my brakes. I want a good quality pad. I will be sure to link these pads in the description below. There are front pads and rear pads. I'll have those distinguished below. Check out those links. Obviously I have my Jeep. The wheels chalked. It's up on some jack stands. We're ready to take the wheel off and get started. If you don't have an impact driver, you're going to want to break your wheel lug nuts loose before you jack it up, otherwise the wheel will just spin on you. But with this impact driver, it makes it easy. Now with the wheel off, I'm going to use a clamp there and just kind of squeeze the caliper a little bit to compress it so I can get it off nice and easy. And whatever kind of clamp you have should work. You just want to make sure you don't put anything on the face of the rotor and scratch it up. But this is working to kind of pull it over a little bit. You can see it kind of, the caliper here shifting over and the bracket there staying in place. To get the new pads to fit in, because they're gonna be a lot thicker, we're gonna have to compress that caliper pretty much all the way in. We'll get out and check the uh, fluid reservoir, make sure that's not overflowing. I'm just gonna do this one a little bit more. And then we'll check that reservoir. I'm also being real careful not to touch the surface of the rotor. We don't want grease or fingerprints or anything on there at all. And here's our brake fluid reservoir. Keeping an eye on it, we've got a minimum and maximum mark on there. And we might have to open it up and siphon a little bit out so we don't overflow there. Keep an eye on that as we're compressing the caliper. Now I'm also doing this one side at a time. I like to do that just in case I need to use the other side as a reference. There's two caliper pins here. We're gonna remove, there's the top one, the bottom one down here. And now these, the bottom one is actually not spinning on me. The top one was starting to spin on me there. Go ahead and take the bottom one off here and the top one, we're gonna have to use a wrench to hold the pin here. So this is a 9 socket and this is actually a 15 millimeter wrench. So we can break this loose here go. Before I take that all the way out, I'm going to hold the caliper because I don't want it falling out on me here. With that, we can take the caliper off, slide it up out of the way here. Try not to put too much torque on your brake line here. You don't want to let it hang on that or pull on it too much. And we can pull our old pads off here. Some of the hardware is falling out there, but that's okay because we got new hardware as well. Now my rotors are in pretty good shape, so I'm gonna leave those alone. I'm not gonna replace them. If you end up with any gouges or roughness to your rotors, you might need to replace them as well. Now our kit came with new hardware, so we're gonna replace all these little tabs. These guys just pop up. And we'll take a little wire brush and get all the dirt and gunk rust off of all these little spots. And I'll finish compressing my caliper in here. Opened up the shop door, get a little fresh air in here because I'm going to use some brake cleaner and clean off these parts before we start installing our new hardware. And I have a tip for you guys, a super valuable tip. I made a big mistake on one of my very first brake jobs. I'll tell you that at the very end of this video here of something I did wrong and it led to a little bit of destruction. We'll get to that. But right now we've got all this, uh, some rust on there. We want to blow all this off, a little bit of brake cleaner. Just clean this up real good. Now these are our new little tabs that are gonna go on and notice there's a little bit of a difference on the two. You can see how these two here are different from each other. So I'll show you how those go on. But before we install those little tabs, we're gonna grease everything up real good. Our kit comes with some grease, which is nice. And we want to get a little bit of grease on the front and back side of all these. And that just helps reduce uh, any squeaking and noise coming from your brakes. Not a lot. And we want to make sure we don't get any grease on the pads themselves. We don't get any grease on the rotors. But we're going to grease up a lot of everything else here. And then these little tabs go in so that the 
tall side is towards the back back there. And this flat side lays on this little lip here. Now it'll look just like that, sitting down nice and flush. If you get any grease on your rotor, be sure to spray it off with a little bit of brake cleaner. Got to keep that clean. And all four little tabs sit on there. Now I'm also going to pull these boots off here. Make sure that these are intact. I'm going to clean the grease off of these, re-grease these up and reinstall them. Make sure the boots aren't torn or anything. Replace those if they are. Got my caliper pin all cleaned up and re-greased with some good high temperature brake grease. Just push that guy back on. We'll do the bottom one as well. Now I've greased up these edges where the uh, brake paddle slides. So right there, right there, and then the back side. This one with the little thing I'm hanging on to right here goes on the back. On the back on the other side. Got the wrong one. Okay, there you go. Now I got the correct one for the back side here. Greased up those two spots and the back side of it as well. And we'll slip it on here. Now for fitting these pads in, let me show you little trick that I found helped. Don't touch the surface, keep that grease off of there. So I'm gonna take the bottom, the bottom tab there, I'm gonna put it in kind of at an angle and then kind of rock it into place. Get that bottom one in and then the top one should push in. But yeah, you gotta kind of uh, pinch that bottom one over a little bit. But that should do, looks good. And they also want us to grease up this part of the caliper there. Both of those little tabs. And the face of the caliper here. Just keep everything moving and nothing squeaking, everything functioning just great. Now I can drop my caliper back down into place. And we'll torque both caliper pins to 26 foot-pounds. All right, everything looks really good on final inspection. So now I can put the wheel back on and that final tip that I had for you guys where I made a mistake one time. Actually, I thought about it a little bit more and it wasn't doing brakes on a vehicle. I was doing something else. I think I was doing, was I doing ball joints or something? But for some reason I had to take the brake off, so I wasn't even thinking about the brakes, but I had to take the caliper off. So I'm gonna get the wheel on here, torque this down, do the other side, then I'm gonna come back. And the super important thing you have to remember is when you get in your vehicle, when you're done with your brake job, you're not gonna have any brakes. You're gonna have to pump your brake pedal a few times to get the brake uh, caliper to seat with the new pads. I neglected to do that one time, where I had the caliper off, I wasn't working on brakes, I was doing something else. Got in my vehicle and started backing it out and I hadn't pumped the brakes yet. Started coasting back. There's another vehicle behind me and oh, that's about where I want it. Started to hit the brake, there was nothing there. It just goosh to the floor. I was like, ah, oh, and it happened so quick. So then I like hit the brake a few more times, but by that time it was too late because it happened so fast. Bumped into the bumper on the other vehicle, kind of cracked it a little bit. Oh, I felt so dumb. But hey, I learned a valuable lesson. Anytime you're working on the brakes, absolutely be sure to pump your brakes. Make sure you got good brakes before you start going anywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. These brake pads also have a brake-in procedure. I think you have to take it like up to 40 miles an hour and brake down to 10, do that four or five times. There's instructions that come with the brake pads. They have to be broken in properly so that they work well. Check out my next video right up here. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.